Good morning, second graders. Welcome to math. We are on lesson 13.3. Our learning target is to use data. Remember, that's information. Use data to make picture graphs. Uh, so we're going to skip this because we don't all have uh, tiles at home with colors. So I'm going to skip this and we'll just get right into the math on the pages. All right. This says favorite color. Here's my tally chart. We want to put one happy face for each student. And we can look. We'll put for red, one, two, three, four, five. We know that that tally makes five. So we would just draw one, two, three, four, five happy faces. Right? And for blue, six. For yellow, just one. And for pink, turn this tally into this chart. All right. Which has the most, we look, this one goes out the farthest. Which, uh, how many more students chose red than pink? Here's red and pink. The difference is the how much longer this one is than this one. Two. So let's go right to our picture graph. Favorite fruit, favorite fruit. We have a tally chart and we want to turn it into a picture chart. So here is where we draw one smiley face for each student. Orange. How many smiley faces am I going to draw? I'm going to draw one, two, three, four. How many will I draw for strawberry? One, two, one, two, one, how many for apple? I have a tally mark set of five and one more. That's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you can come in and make your smiley faces. Good. And for banana, I have one tally mark set of five. One, two, three, four, five and add your smiles. Good. Which fruit, which fruit is the most favorite? Well, I look and apple goes all the way to the end. Apple is the most favorite. Which fruit is the least favorite? Strawberry has only two. It's the shortest list on our on our picture graph how many more students chose apple than banana now here's where we compare boys and girls apple goes all the way to the end banana is one away from the end so one more student chose apple than banana all right so let's go to the next page 627 we are looking at favorite bird, right? And it's asking us to complete the picture graph. Here we go. So, parrot, I have two. Each, for each picture, we're going to have one student. For each tally, that's one student. So I'm going to say parrot has two. One, two. Flamingo has two. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Owl has three, one, two, three. And penguin has a set of five and two more. One, two, three, four, five, and two more. One, two. I know that five plus two is seven, but if you think tally mark of five, and two more, that's fine. Uh, boys and girls, you can go back and put your smiley face in all of them. I just don't want to run out of time, so I'm going to let you fill in your own smiley faces. All right, so for mine, each circle represents a one student. How many students chose the most favorite bird? Well, let's see. None of these is most. <gasps> I know what they want us to do. 
they want us to find out how many students total. Oh, okay. So how many students chose for this list? Well, all I have to do is count all of these smiley faces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Oh, uh, yes, let me see, seventeen. And how many students chose flamingo or penguin? Let's see, flamingo or penguin. So I have to look at flamingo and penguin. So let's see, I count both of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, and then I could ask other questions like, uh, what's the difference between all of them and and just flamingo and penguin? You can do so many things when you have information on a graph. All right, complete this picture graph. Um, number of coins, you have five, Newton has four, Descartes has six. Let's put them into our chart. Each circle is one coin. Here we go. You, we said you have five. One, two, three, four, five. Newton has four. One, two, three, four. Descartes has six. One, two, three four, five, six. Newton gives four coins to Descartes. How many coins does Newton have now? So Newton gives four coins to Descartes. How many does Newton have now? Let's see. Newton gives four. How many did he have? One, two, three, four. If he gave all four to Descartes, how many does he have left? Zero. If he had, he, and how do you know? That's our important part. He had four coins and he gave four coins away. If you have four coins and you give four coins away, what you were left with is zero. We know that. We can look at this chart and find out error information very quickly. Here we go. You ask 20 students to name their eye colors. Nine have brown, uh, brown eyes. Three more students have brown eyes than blue eyes. The rest have green eyes. Complete the picture graph. Oh, boys and girls, this is why I like picture graphs. Here we go. I need to get to a total of 20 students. So I'm just going to make a note for myself. 20 total. That's all of these circles are going to equal 20. Nine have brown eyes. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that is, that is what we have. Okay, nine have brown eyes. Three more students have brown eyes than blue eyes. Now, I take this and I say brown eyes is going to have one, two, three more. So where am I going to start writing my blue eyes? Right here, right? 
If I stop here for blue, then I know that the brown has one, two, three more. This is so exciting. Here we go. So I go all the way back to the beginning. They only gave us part of the information, but we could make all of the information because we are reading our words and using our smart brains. Here we go. Three more students have brown eyes than blue eyes. That's this. The rest have green eyes. Exciting. Let's take a look. How many brown eyes are there? Nine. How many blue eyes are there? Well, we didn't count. But now that we have a picture, we know that nine plus this many, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine plus six is 15, right? Brown, brown, and blue. And I want to find out 20 total, so all I have to do is subtract and say 20 minus 15. Or I know that blue and brown makes 15. I need to stop when I get to 20. I have 15 already. The rest have green eyes. Here's my last one. So I have 15. Let's do this. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Take a look. 20 minus 15. I know that that's five. Is that what we got here? Boys and girls, my picture graph worked. My subtraction problem worked. This is so exciting. All right, uh, let's try to get through this. We're running a little low on time. We'll find out. You ask 15 students which community helper is their favorite, right? Favorite community helper. Six chose police officer. Let's just put that in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two fewer students chose doctor than police officer. So I'm going to come down here and say two fewer. So one, two fewer, one, two, three, four. There's my picture. I go two less than police officer. Uh, two fewer students chose doctor than police officer. The rest choose firefighter. Complete the picture graph. All right, so we need to know 15 students, six are here, two fewer are, I'm um, sorry, two fewer than here are for doctor, and the rest. So I have, remember what I did up there? 15 total. Now, or up here I had 20 total. Down here I have 15 total. Let's just count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I need to get to 15. So how many chose firefighter? If I have 10 already on my chart, there's going to be 15 total. I could just count 11, 12, 13, 14, 15.